Hi everyone, and we are back, and we are going to actually get started today with plotting in Mathematica. So, you're experts now in dealing with lists, assigning variables, and so now we're going to actually plot functions in Mathematica. So, let's start with a simple function, so I'm going to call this s phone, which is going to be our sine function, so sine of x. Just a quick note, obviously that gives it in degrees, or sorry, we're working here in radians. If you want to basically evaluate that, so sine of 90 degree, you have to type in that degree, and then that gives you what you're going to anticipate for sine waves for zero degrees, etc., etc. So sine of zero, sine pi. So if you don't add that degree, that's what we're going to work with here. So we're working in the radian, just so that you know for future reference. Yeah. So let's go ahead and plot this stuff. So here's our symbolic function, and this is why I said that mathematics is nice and easy to work with. So if I want to take the derivative of s1 with respect to x, it gives me that. So symbolically working, taking derivatives, very, very simple and straightforward and easy. So let's plot s1. And we're going to plot it from x goes to minus i. And we get, as you might anticipate, our sine function. So this is not um, a super nice graph. <laughs> so again, the reason I said that we were going to use Mathematica is to produce visually appealing graphs. But there's lots of ways you can kind of customize this graph. And you could use this code. Um, again, this is not like the best um, kind of plot you can produce, but again, it's a starting point. And you could add your own spin and your own unique uh, kind of take uh, and style to your mathematical plots. So plot style is a really, really nice function. Again, looking at the help menu, plot style, you can look at lots of different, um, oops, lots of different options here for plot style. Uh, so little basic examples. You get know, very, 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 very complicated within uh, your plot style function. So look at that, uh, and you can kind of look into kind of all these different options. But I'll show you kind of a template that I like to use here. So this is just kind of a fun example to show. So one, for example. Um, let's close this guy. Lots of error analysis to use. So this is a little bit too thick. There, it looks a little bit nicer. And you can make the image bigger using image size, 1,000. So, and we could even get a little bit nicer. So this is kind of the typical uh, script that I use in order to create kind of the plot size that I think are most usually building. So minus 2 pi, 2 pi, uh, usually on frame, so frame true, frame style. This directive that allows you to do more. You put a lot of options essentially in this directive bracket. So I make it black, my frame style. So the frame the black, bold, 50, thickness, 0.05. I'm going to do plot range all. Just so see the full window. You might want to kind of change that, and we can talk about how you want to change that and what you want to do with that uh, a little bit later on. Image size. I want it to be a thousand. Uh, I need to close this. That's why it's not auto filling it for me. Style. Directive. Blue. I want thickness to be 0 0.05. And then plot it. So this is a nice function. Now, in Mathematica, you might be saying, Professor Time, how do you uh, add basically your axes labels? So there's definitely ways to put um, axes labels in the plot. So, label, and you could have it plugged x. Let me see. Time x here, and then you have here y. For example, here. Obviously, we need to add our units. Uh, actually, we need to do frame label for frame. So you can kind of see what's going on here. But I really dislike using um, basically axes labels in Mathematica. I would prefer that you take a screenshot uh, like something like this, go into your PowerPoint. There's a new PowerPoint here. Yeah, excuse me. Plan presentation, use here, paste, grab just what you want from this plot as such. And you can make uh, a nice looking label and figures and captions and uh, really anything you want to work with. 
and some schematic or a legend. I would use do all that in uh, PowerPoint here. A lot nice, a lot cleaner. You can make legends in Mathematica, but it gets a, it gets messy very, very, very quickly. So um, I think that's a little bit more advanced technique and it's just a little bit more headache. I think it's quicker. You know, we want to generate high quality figures quickly. Uh, it doesn't matter if we can generate beautiful figures if it takes us you know, forever to do so. So what can we do after that? So let's copy this set of code. So I can do plot. I could also do a log plot. I don't know why I want to do that, but here you can see the, so the logarithm and the axis on the y scale. You can also do a log log plot on the x and y. Log plot, log log. So you can see there, if you want to change that axis, I think there's also a log linear. So log on the x, linear on the y. There's lots of different options uh, in terms of how you want to plot. We could also, going back to, I still have my R list. I want to do basically a plot of points. I can do list. Or actually, let me copy here. I'm going to just do. I want to do a plot of, of points. I can do list plot. And then it changes. I don't need this function anymore or range because I just want to plot our list. And it's going to plot it basically as a function. Uh, it's going to give it some arbitrary units of time or numbers. Uh, basically, you're plotting the elements here. So that's a list plot. You could change. So instead of thickness here, I can do point size. I can make it super huge. Actually, that's not that. I can make it very big there. <laughs> point, I have a point oh five. Still a little bit too big. I mean, point oh three. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bit better. I can also do, <laughs> excuse me, thickness. Change it back. And I'm going to do, you can just connect the lines. Just And this is just no interpolation, just connecting the points. So a list line plot. So you can do that. You can create another list. Uh, you make this red. And there's lots of different uh, colors. So cyan. You can make this you know, pink, purple, darker. You can make red darker. Darker red. There's lots of different options in terms of color that you can choose from. I can also make another list. So our list two. I'm gonna make it random variate. Normal distribution. Make the except now. Previously my mean was centered at four. Now I'm gonna have it centered at eight. I'm gonna make it a little bit wider. Standard deviation. Get 500 again. So that's my R list two. I could show in here. Our list, plot them both on one plot, our list, and our list two. Here they're the same color. I want to make sure and add a little bit more. So I can add a different color scheme or basically another color option. So let me pick this guy, copy it. Instead of darker red, I'm going to have a darker cyan. So you can see here my R list two, which is centered basically at around you know eight. This guy at four. So you can see kind of different colors. So if I want to change this guy back to blue, again that's going to refer to the first. It's going to change the first color on my list in here. Yeah. So that is essentially how we're going to be plotting in Mathematica. So you could use this template. You can create your own. If you don't like like this line here, you could do um, change essentially the origin. That's the origin. Just change it from minus a million to a million, ten thousand, etc. You know, what we're doing in here, except we have the plot range all function. Um, we can get rid of that guy later on. But yeah, you can remove this line. Uh, I think I need to get rid of. It's still plot range all for some reason. But anyways, we can deal with that <laughs> a little bit later on. Uh, you just choose zero, zero. Yeah, we can get rid of this line uh, a bit later. So next time we are going to be working with uh, an important thing in this class uh, for you, practically speaking, which is importing data into Mathematica. So uh, we will talk about that next time, and I'll see you all there. So let me know if you have any questions, and hopefully. 
uh, you're starting to kind of enjoy and uh, utilize Mathematica and use it as a tool that you can kind of take with you later on. All right. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.